I guess it's the last the last song we played together. This is a, a famous family photo. There's my grand. That was his real instrument, my, uh, the cello. My grandfather. My grandmother played piano. She was she was an excellent pianist, and uh, she accompanied me. And all this. Well, I remember walking into the living room uh, one Thanksgiving, or maybe it was Christmas, into my grandparents' house on the farm. That same piano that's in the picture with my grandmother and the and my grandfather playing the cello, same instrument. And seeing my uncle sitting at that piano, my uncle Gerald, with with my dad playing bass behind him, and my uncle, he would kind of play like Miles Cool look, you know, on the trumpet with kind of curved back and everything very cool looking when he played jazz. And just being enthralled. I remember what songs they played. They played um, the song called Bernie's Tune. They always used to play. Um, and then they played The Lady is a Tramp. And I remember that because my mom used to say, I just hate that song. <laughs> I think it was the title that she hated. As a saxophone player, he had a very, very beautiful sound. Almost like a combination of Paul Desmond meets Johnny Hodges, but with a classical tinge. He had a very light, beautiful sound. I mean, he could play a ballad and just bring you to tears. He, he, he really could play pretty. My uncle always said that, you know, the deans could always play pretty. And I think that's something that, he, that I kind of picked up almost just by osmosis. If you have a beautiful sound, and if you deliver your ideas with conviction, that it can be very emotionally moving. Last April, we decided to go back to Mason City because my dad was starting to slow down and I just wanted to take every opportunity I could to go back and hang out with him. And about a month before we were heading off to do that, he said, oh gosh, I just can't seem to find anything to, to practice these days. I need a song to play, something new and exciting. I said, well, I'll write you something and I'll uh, send it to you. And then when I come home in April, we can play it together. So I was working on this ballad. I thought this would be perfect for him on the alto sax. I could just hear him with that beautiful sound, you know, that kind of little, almost classical vibrato. Well, we sat down for an hour one afternoon and worked through it uh, in April. And he was, he was saying, oh gosh, this is so, you know, goes through all these keys on the bridge and this is going to be a big challenge for me. But he, he sounded great on it, really pretty. And then he played it on soprano and he was trying to decide which instrument he liked. I, just, I was calling it Dad's Ballad or Pop's Ballad because of the pop aspect and then so now I guess it's kind of called Pop's because of Dad. Father from some magazine picture. 